hello welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section and today we have quantitative reasoning from lantern step book 4 page 29 thank you for joining in today and to our new viewers kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems and to our subscribers thank you for staying with us don't forget to like and leave a comment share with others all right so we have this problem before us from book 4, page 29. Here we have 1 over 4, 3 over 4, 1. And for this example, we have 1 over 3, 2 over 9, 5 over 9. And the third example, we have 1 over 6, 2 over 3, and 5 over 6. All right, so we're going to work on this. So to find 1. We're going to have 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4, right? Now, one of the rules for LCM and solving fraction is that when the denominators are the same and you have to add or subtract, just pick one and write it down, right? So here we now have 1 plus 3. That gives us 4. Now, 4 over 4 means 4 divided by 4. And any number dividing itself is 1. So that's why we have our 1 here. Okay. So to find 3 over 4. So to find 3 over 4, we are going to have 1 minus 1 over 4. Okay. 1 minus 1 over 4. Now 1 is a whole number. And we're going to subtract this fraction from it. Now, what you can simply do is make our 1 have a denominator 4. Now, to get 1, it means with a denominator as 4, it means 4 over 4. If you had 100 here, you can say 100 over 100, which will give you 1. Okay, that's 100 divided by 100. So, for here, we have 4 over 4. Okay. So 4 over 4 means 1 minus 1 over 4. Now remember I said that when you subtract or add uh, a fraction with like denominators, you can simply pick one of it. So 4 minus 1, you have your 3. Okay? So to find 1 over 4, here, 1 over 4, So we're going to have 1 minus 3 over 4. And remember we said something about 1. If you would want to, you have your whole number as a fraction, which is 1. You can simply have uh, 4 over 4. Even if you had something like 2 here, if you take 1 away from it, you can right, have 1 whole number 4 over 4 just to make it easier for you in solving. So 4 divided by 4 minus 3 over 4. And when you subtract, remember you're not subtracting the denominator straight away. You simply pick one of it. So 4 minus 3, you have your 1. So that is it for this. So let's move to the next example. To find... 5 over 9. To find 5 over 9, we're going to have 1 over 3 plus 2 over 9. Okay? Now, when solving uh, fractions with uh, different denominators, you're meant to find the LCD. That's their common, lowest common uh, divisor. So, for this, our LCD, um, for this, we can simply calculate. Let me show you that. Now, having this number, this is using the prime factor method. So I'm going to use 3 to divide these numbers. 3 divided by this 3. I've picked this and this. I have 1 here. And 3 divide 9. Here I have 3. Now this is off completely. So I can use 3 again to divide. 
and 3 divide this 3 is 1. Now when I multiply this 2, 3 times 3, I have 9. So my LCM for this is 9. Okay. So remember I'm going to add. I'm adding. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 1 up is 3. Plus 9 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay. And 3 plus 2 gives you 5 all over this 9. So that's why we have this 5. So to find 2 over 9, please note that uh, when solving quantitative reasoning, it's important to have the basic knowledge of mathematics so as to apply the same principle there. This problem will only be challenging for you if you are not aware of your uh, LCM, LCD calculation. Okay, so let's go ahead. We have to find 2 over 9. 2 over 9, we have 5 over 9 minus 1 over 3. Okay? 5 over 9 minus 1 over 3. So the SM for these two numbers is 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5 minus 9 divided by 3. It's 3, 3 times 1 is 3. 5 minus 3, we have 2 over 9. So to find the next number, 1 over 3, we have 5 over 9 minus 2 over 9. Okay? So here we have uh, like denominators. So what we do is simply pick one, right? 5 minus 2 is 3. Now 3 over 9 can be reduced to the lowest term. So I can use 3 to divide this 3. That gives me 1. 3 divided by this, uh, divide 9 is 3. So we have 1 over 3. So that is it for this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems okay so let's go ahead let's solve this for more emphasis to find 5 over 6 to find 5 over 6 we have 1 over 6 plus 2 over 3 and the lcm for this is 6 6 divided by this 6 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus 6 divided by 3, we have 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5 all over 6. Okay. So to find 2 over 3. So we have 5 over 6 minus 1 over 6. So we can simply pick one of the denominators. We have 6. So 5 minus 1 is 4. We're going to reduce this. This is a multiples of 2. So 2 can divide both of them. So 2 divided by divide 4 is 2. 2 divide 6 is 3. So here we have 2 over 3. Okay. So to find... 1 over 6. So to find 1 over 6, we have 5 over 6 minus 2 over 3. Okay, so find our LCM as 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So 5 minus 4 gives us 1 over the 6. Okay, so that's all for this problem. Do well to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye for now.